start with the facts of calendar little bit nostalgic we'll try to understand historical things maybe you will feel some uh, something uh, something uh, maybe awkward also but uh, just i'm making you uh, making your brain capable to understand all these things just background modern calendar is gregarian calendar that is based on the solar it was made by the pope uh, pope gregory 8 pope gregory 8 in 1582 ad then after 1582 ad this calendar is followed by all the european nation and because europe was ruling almost all of the world or asian countries including india due to we are also following this same calendar this is not indian calendar this is not indian calendar in indian calendar vedic time golden time we were following that was following with the date of the amavasya and purnima Amavasya and Purnima should be holy day, but now Sunday is holy day. Sometimes Sunday will be Amavasya, sometimes Sunday will be Purnima. We don't know. But okay, whatever we are following, this is our modern calendar. Whatever you will, you are seeing in your uh, uh, smartphone, that is Google Calendar or whatever. This is Gregorian calendar that is based on the solar. Just before that, before 1582, all European country or Roman civilization or you can say Anglo section who has ruled that point of time. on the you can say uh, on england or united kingdom they were following the julian julian calendar julian calendar made by the julius caesar in 46 bc this was based on the lunar movement of the moon because that point of time in bc concept of understanding the sun movement it was not easy Indian people were so talented; they understood all the movement, not only sun and moon. They understood the complete universe movement. Akash Ganga, how will move this uh, one black hole? How will move everything? They understood. But other people, as per my understanding, I may be wrong. Then uh, that time point of time, all these civilizations were not able to understand perfectly about the sun and their movement and how it is affecting the earth. Then nearest. nearest was the moon and based on the movement of moon they are trying to understand the time movement then this was based on the lunar and they were having so many problem by adding and deletion like you can say what we are telling na like leap year non leap year how to calculate due to all complexity in 1582 pop gregory 8 has made this uh, gregorian calendar and after what it is replaced and once europe replaced everywhere now india we are follower we are following same thing what are the facts in gregorian calendar gregorian calendar is one year 365 days or 366 days non leap year it will be when february is 28 then you can say it's 365 days when february is 29 then it is a leap year that is 366 days these two only possibility will be there what are the our assumption for this calendar assumption is first january first day was monday if you will not take reference how to calculate this today is this particular day today is friday today is saturday how any reference should be there then reference is whenever we are started means you can say generally we are following the you can say a uh, christian or you can say jesus era that is a starting from first ad and first january that we assumed it was monday and from there we are calculating then all calculation if you want to calculate 15th august 2047 which day you can calculate from 1st january 1 1st january 1st ad was monday and based on that you will able to calculate 15th august 2047 which day it will fall down it is easy you may you may feel it is a difficult now but after 10 or 15 minutes you will find it is easy which day 15th august 2047 will start from here 1st january First day day was Monday. We will keep all calculate. It is cyclic nature. After seven days, seven days, seven days, seven. How to calculate? Which technique and which logic we have to apply? We will learn it. Leap year February will be twenty nine days divisible by four. If not century year, here many of the times many people will do the mistake, like eighteen hundred eighty. Just suppose if is a normal definition of a leap year, it must be divisible by four. It is divisible by four. Yes. but it is not leap year why because it is not divisible by 400 any century year it will be leap year based on two condition it must be divisible by 4 and it must be divisible by 400 but other than century year 
like just you you can go next number 1796 this is also this is also divisible by 4 this is leap year but this is not leap year why because it is century year century year we have to cross check or we have to double check by 4 also by 400 also non century non century year only by 4 then other than century year then you can say 100 ad perfectly it is divisible by 4 100 we know it is 4 into 25 it is divisible by 4 but it is non leap year it is not leap year why because it is century year it is not divisible by 400 then first century year which will divisible by 400 that will be 400 ad itself then minimum leap year which will fall down in century year that will be multiple of 400 400 800 1200 1600 2000 These all will be again two thousand four hundred. These all will be leap year. Then to understand the leap year, only thing we have to keep in mind: don't do hurry. Don't do hurry. Then uh, if it is divisible by not century year, divisible by four hundred is century year. One hundred eighty divisible by four, but not by four hundred, non leap year. Eighteen hundred eighty divisible by four, but not by four hundred, non leap year. Four hundred eighty divisible by four and four hundred both leap year. Leap year means three sixty six days. February twenty nine days, two thousand eighty divisible by four and four hundred both leap year. Similar way, names of the month has few names has come from convention and few has come based on the counting. Like September, it will be based on the septa means seven. Now you will say September is the ninth month. This is problem because earlier it was only ten month. Afterwards, when calculation was refined, then it has made twelve month due to all month has shifted by two. October means oct. Oct means eight. You will tell October is tenth month, but actually October was eight month only. In between two month has sandwiched to make the calculation correct. Due to it has happened. Names of days. All names of days has kept by Saxons and uh, Saxons has taken the name of the day based on the god of the day. Like Monday based on the moon, it is Monday. Similar way, all Sunday based on the god sun. Similarly, Tuesday, Wednesday, all have taken based on the particular god of the day, and these names Saxons has kept and same.